Hi guys, Mrs G back again with another Mental Maths Workout. This is week six. Let's be a maths magician. It gives our brains a workout. Helps us remember how to add, subtract, times and divide so it doesn't leave our heads. Are we ready? 68 add 4. So 68 add 4 more. Counting on. Is 68 add 4 64? 71? Or 72 you know you can pause the video if you need more thinking time anytime throughout this and the answer is 72 I've got four fingers up let me prove it to you 68 69 70 71 72 well done if you beat mrs. G what about 53 add 3 is the answer 56 55 or 50 some really clever children in this class if you know what three add three is you'll know what the units are going to be what the ones are going to be in this number if you're not sure add three fingers up and keep counting from 53 and the answer is 56 53 54 55 56 did you spot that three add three always makes six that's how mrs g knew which one it was well done if you did the same what about 70 take away four Okay, we're not adding any more. We want we want to subtract. We gotta jump back. We gotta jump back. Four fingers up and you're going to count backwards from 70. Is the answer 66, 74, or 67? 70 take away four. And the answer is 66. Okay, so 70 in my head, four fingers up, 70, sorry, 69, 68, 67, 66, well done. What about 40 take away 8? Want to subtract, we got to count back. You need 8 fingers up, you're going to count backwards from 40. Is the answer 48, 32 or 33? Pause the video if you need more thinking time. And the answer is... 32 let me prove it to you eight fingers up here i go counting backwards from 40 39 38 37 36 35 34 33 32 well done if you beat mrs g now we'll move on to our times tables now eight times five eight multiplied by five eight fingers up and count using your five times table counting fives is eight times five 13 35 or 40 count carefully and the answer to 8 times 5 is 40 I've got 8 fingers up here I go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 well done okay what about 2 times 2 or double 2 double double ain't no trouble all we gotta use is our counting in twos is 2 times 2 0 4 or 3 and the answer is four, isn't it? Two fingers up, counting twos. Two, four. Well done. Okay, we've got divide now. What is 16 divided by two? Don't panic. How many twos make 16? Start with no fingers up and counting twos until you get to 16. How many fingers did you have up? Is 16 divided by two? Eight, nine, or 18? Pause the video if you need more thinking time. The answer is eight. Zero fingers up. Here I go counting in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 16. Yep, I had eight fingers up. Did you? What about 50 divided by 10? 10 times what is 50? Is 50 divided by 10 60? 5 or 40? Now, divide is like subtract. It gives you a smaller number. Okay, think you've got the answer? And the answer is five. Start with no fingers up. I'm going to count in tens until I get to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yep, I had five fingers up. Well done if you did too. <gasps> Back to ads now. 15 add 20. So, one ten add two tens. What would one ten add two tens be? That would be tens and five add zero. How many ones will this number have? Is 15 add 20, 25, 35 or 30? Add your tens, add your ones separately. Think, think, think. 15 add 20 is 35. If I put two fingers up and count in tens from 15, 15, 
25, 35. And one ten in 15, add two tens from 20. One add two is three tens. And five ones add no more is 535. Well done. What about 127 take away 7? If we take the 1s away from a 100s, 10s and units number, what will we be left with? If you're not sure, you can still count back to subtract. 7 fingers up, can you count backwards from 127? Is the answer 107, 102 or 120? 127 take away 7. And the answer is... 120. Let me prove it for you. I've got seven fingers up. I'm going to count backwards from 127 in ones. 126, 125, 124, 123, 122, 121, 120. Well done if you beat Mrs. G to that answer. Oh, times tables again now. What's 11 times 5? Now we've not got 11 fingers, guys, but if you know what 10 times 5 is, and you know what 1 times 5 is, you can add those together and use what you already know. Okay, is 11 times 5 16, 55 or 50? 11 times 5. Think about what 10 times 5 is and then add 1 times 5. And the answer is 55. 10 times 5 is 50, add 5 more is 55. Well done if you knew that without my help. Last one for today, 25 divided by 5. How many 5s make 25? Start with no fingers up and counting 5s until you get to 25. Is 25 divided by 5 30? 5 or 20? 25 divided by 5. And the answer is 5. Let's do it together. No fingers up. Let's count in 5s until we get to 25. Let's go. 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25. Well done, Maths Magicians. Leave me a like if you're beating Mrs. G at these. I'll see you next time.